Hello and welcome back to another PowerShell video. We've been mainly concentrating on how to do things like variables and different record sets and how to record data. Now I'm going to get into how to create a form. We've got to create a form which uses the .NET framework, not really used within scripting, but because we can do, we're going to do. So we're going to create a basic form. We're going to set this border style. We're going to set the client size to be in just 800 by 600. Set various things along the way. But then from that point, I'm going to do my next video is creating a new button on it, creating different components such as DB grids, populating them, looping through. So using the techniques that you've learned before, and we can build up data within these various different components. So we'll get straight to it. We're clearing the host as usual so we don't see any rubbish actually on the screen or in the host window, should I say. And we're going to create a new object of a form. So you can see where the actual form object is held there. So we're saying main form is getting the value of that object there. It's creating a new object. We're then going to set the client size to 800 by 600. And then we're going to set the border style to fixed 3D. And we're going to set the maximize box to being false because I don't want people playing around with it and dragging things around. I just want it to be static. And we're going to create an icon. So again, that's where the icon properties are held. So we're creating a new icon. I'm going to assign it to the icon variable there. Create a bit of text to see at the top. I'm going to set the back color. There's two ways of setting the back color. You can either do the drawing bit like that and put the actual codes in for the red, blue, green, or you can just set it to a name. I've got a couple of websites that will cover this that I'll leave as links at the end. So we'll, we'll press play on that. So you can see the text there. My first form in PowerShell, which you can see in the background there. And you can see an icon there. That's just one that I downloaded off the internet. It has to be an icon. You can't use some JPEGs because it has to be a certain size to be able to fit in. When you're using pictures elsewhere that don't have to be an icon, then you don't have to use .ico format. But within these icons, they do have to be icons. So there you go. We set the color there. And you can see that um, I've just picked a color at random there. What I'm going to do is we'll just close that down. We'll hash that out. And we'll bring this one into play. And then you can see changes straight away. So you can just manipulate it around. Same for if we wanted to reduce the size, we'll change that to 300. Press play on that. We've got a nice long window. So if we wanted to do the same on this one, we'll set that to 200. Hit a five and run it, and you can see there. You lose your, your text a little bit, but you can see that all the other ones, like the maximized, I turned that one off so nobody could play around with the form. So there you go. You can play around with loads of different options to do with the form. So if we do the dot and just have a look at what's available there for like auto sizing, setting the background color, background images, there's loads that you can play around with with properties and events upon there. Have a good play around with those. All the properties and events are listed on Microsoft's website and we'll go into creating a button next time. So as promised, I have a couple of websites for generating the color. So you've got this one here, flounder.com. It's a C sharp color table and they're all the same really because you're using .NET. So it doesn't matter really that it says C sharp. And you can see here that they've got the names of them on here. And they've got the values of them as well. So you can actually just copy those into your code. The other one that I've got, which is quite useful, you can generate your own. And it's got a list of them there as well. So that's on rapidtables.com slash web slash color slash RGB underscore color dot HTML. I'll put both links into the video itself. So there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> 